guys, FSC Trucking. Man, we've got a very exciting video for you today, a very exciting bunch of news to give you today. All new to the channel. I went and bought something. That right there. That right there is a 2016 XL Specialized Dunin, basically. Double drop trailer. 50 feet long, 40 foot well, eight foot top, 50 feet total. There we go. All new. Well, new to me anyway. Went ahead and made an investment. It's gonna cost me some money over some time, but hey, it's worth it. We can get into it. Getting ready to roll out this morning to go load up my new wagon. Well, new to me anyway. So, let's get started here. You all know Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. Powered by the 7FB variant of the 3406B Caterpillar engine. 13-speed trans, look back, you see us redo the videos. But we're gonna focus on a trailer today. Not my camper, the double drop here. Long story short, what I did was I bought this off of one of our drivers. Now he bought it brand new. You can tell by the, the different lights. You can tell by the different lights he put on it. He loves his chrome. Check out the little fenders that were on here. Well, chromed out rain splash fenders, I guess you call them. I'm not really sure what you call those, but either way. Normally they're diamond plated and after a while they start to fade, you know, that aluminum. But either way, that's what he did with it. My thing was it was used enough so the price was right and it's not used enough to where it's not rotten to hell. So you can see my step deck, that's a 2000 and I forget. I don't remember what year my step deck is, but that thing lost all the cross members in it from rust. So we're redoing that. You can see I already primered the top, put the new cross members in the top. So we're working on that. That's gonna start coming to the FSC truck shop channel as well. But this thing is used enough to where it depreciated enough to where it made it for me affordable. However, it's solid enough, don't have to worry about it for many years to come. It might get painted in the future, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna handle that. So we'll go ahead and look into it a little deeper. So like any trailer, so like any older trailer, paint's flaking a lot. Now this trailer was owned by the one driver that leased on with us here at Widmeyer, so that's all this trailer has seen is bad, nasty weather and assault. But he was a full-time driver too, so, and he primarily pulled this trailer, he also just owns a step deck. But he primarily pulled this trailer seemed to be a lot more so it's definitely in need of some cosmetic work but it's absolutely rock star solid in condition it's not abused both sides the rails ain't bent all down here if you hit curbs while you're making a turn you'll roll underneath i have it on high ride right now it just happened to be where it was when i picked it up i never put a load on it yet you see the collars they're on high ride if I put them in the other hole, it'll be on low ride. So it'll be lower to the ground. Also, most people don't realize it's real tight between my tractor and the trailer. The mud flaps do clear, but barely, just barely. The way it works with these trailers, like my step deck over here, that's a 10 foot top deck. This is around eight feet. So what they did was they made it a shorter top deck to make the well, which is the part, bottom part of the trailer. They made that a little bit longer. So this well is still a full 40 feet. Think about it, if you have a trailer like this, your money is made in the middle with your bigger equipment. Of course, if you're doing LPLs, you've got a, a wooded area on the top of your top deck to be able to put freight and a wooded area on your wheels to put freight there as well. Ours are covered stem to stern. That way, not just heavy equipment, but also little equipment to go with it. That's just how we run here. The problem with having that short top deck is it's so close to the tractor. So what you're gonna have to do in the future is replace my fifth wheel slider and pull the fifth wheel back a little bit when I'm under this trailer. It works, it doesn't bind, and weight-wise, Orwell likes the position right here. So we put heavy loads on it. We never go over 40, we never go over 12. So where it's at is actually the perfect spot, but I wish it was a little bit more room. If you've seen me work these trailers in the past, I'm a little big to fit in there, so that might be some of the mods we do in the future. Really ain't much to say about it. I mean, it's new to me. Probably to you guys, it's like, oh, okay, another trailer, yippee yo, big deal. All right, so obviously aluminum wheels. All the wheels are aluminum, they're 17.5s, Michelin tires, that's the best tire to run on these in my opinion. Anybody else wants to sponsor me on that, have at it, but right now Michelin's a tire for me. Now the ride height is adjustable. There is a mechanism underneath there to change the angle of the air ride valve. So when you got a real tall truck, you can lower it down or you can leave it right where it is now, which is basically a good stock ride height, which does it, it's not too high, not too low, it's kind of in the middle. It is adjustable. The other thing, which is why I really wanted this exact trailer, 
If you look on the back here, it does have the availability for a removable third axle. So if you look here, you'll see you got your pin points for your, your pins, both down here and up here. And here are your, your glad hands to hook up your air, trailer plug, all of that. This works your air ride up and down. At this dumps it, this will raise it or lower it if you want it. Still have the old truck number on it. We're gonna have to get new numbers made to reflect its new number, my number. All right, boys and girls, there you go. That's our new trailer. So now we have one truck, two trailer operation once we get this old wreck put back together. Man, I just wish I had the time to get all this crap done. All right, with that, let's get and push in these buttons and get trucking. I gotta go get loaded. Gonna put a Oshkosh in the middle, two other pieces on front and back, and that'll be that, let's ride. Boys and girls, a couple of little maneuvers here quick, and we'll be out of here. My landlord's pickup truck's here. He's loading up his enclosed trailer, so we have to swing it really wide so the trailer gets around his nose. <laughs> just a little bit of rear axle placement. Piece of cake.